Senator Rounds, please. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, let me begin by thanking all of you for your service to our country, uh, recognizing Secretary Austin, not just for your time in uniform, but your time as Secretary as well. General Milley, uh, recognizing your time as Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, but not only that, but the amount of time that you and your family have served our country, we sometimes gloss over that. And uh, I recognize that I don't have a lot of time, but I just wanna make this clear. It's not just the time that you spend in the Pentagon, it's the time that you've spent boots on the ground. Uh, you've had operational deployments, including the Multinational Force and Observers, Sinai, Egypt, Operation Just Cause in Panama, Operation Uphold Democracy in Haiti, Operation Joint Endeavor in Bosnia, Operation Iraqi Freedom in Iraq, and three tours during Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. You've also deployed to Somalia and Colombia. We thank you for your service to, the, to our country, sir, and your family as well, because when you deploy, they're deployed as well. Thank you. Uh, gentlemen, both for Secretary Austin and Chairman Milley, last week you both clarified that you support waiting until the conclusion of the ongoing study before any decision should be made on auctioning uh, parts of or any of the 3.1 to 3.45 gigahertz spectrum band. My question is, should an auction occur before the study is complete, what are the real world impacts on national security from a defense and budgetary perspective? They, they would be devastating, Senator, and they would it would take us uh, somewhere north of 20 years to try to recover from, uh, from the loss of that, that spectrum. Uh, parts of that spectrum are vital to our national defense and the protection of the homeland. And, and you know, in order to describe exactly, well, you know what the, what the specific platforms are, but uh, we would have to go to a classified session to uh, speak in detail about this. But I would tell you that uh, this is not something you can fix overnight once you break it. It'll take 20 years plus uh, to re recover from that. Thank you. General Milley? Uh, same thing, Senator. Uh, I firmly believe that we should wait till the study is. This is a, a measure twice, cut once sort of thing. We don't want to vacate it because of the severe uh, uh, national security implications to that. Uh, sharing is obviously a goal for everybody, but it's how you share and the technical capability to do that, and that's what the study should tell us. We want to make a fully informed decision. Uh, and the Secretary and I will be making those recommendations in writing to the President when the time comes. Thank you, sir. Uh, once again, for Chairman Milley, as the principal military advisor to the President, would you say that it's essential for you to be able to provide an independent recommendation about spectrum sharing and its impact on national security to the President? Yes, uh, I do. I would also say, though, that every recommendation I make to the President is an independent military, best military advice, uh, no matter what the topic. Uh, the Secretary is very good about that, uh, and, and, and I will always inform the Secretary if I disagree with the Secretary ahead of time, uh, but uh, he and I always are in there together with the President, and, and I will always make an independent, best military advice recommendation. That's what I signed uh, when I was confirmed, that I would do that with the Senate as part of this committee, as part of becoming uh, the confirmation process. So I will always do that, and every chairman should always do that. Thank you, sir. Secretary Austin, Indopaycom has listed an unfunded requirement of $147 million for the development of a missile defense system for Guam. Can you discuss how that decision by the department not to fund this Indopaycom requirement comports with the department's priority to defend Guam? Uh, thanks, Senator. As you know, we have, we have and we continue to invest heavily in the defense of Guam. And, uh, and at, that work is, is ongoing. Again, there's always, uh, there are always choices that we have to make uh, in, in a specific uh, time horizon. And in this case, uh, that's, that, that is uh, a capability that I think uh, we, we can and will consider uh, going forward. I, I think part of the reason for the question is because there's been some criticism on uh, the, the department providing a list of unfunded uh, requests. Would you agree that this one should be very seriously considered by Congress? As you know, Senator, we, we are required, or uh, service chiefs uh, and, uh, and commanders are required uh, uh, by law to submit those uh, unfunded uh, requests. And, uh, and I, I do believe that uh, 
that all of our commanders and chiefs believe that what's on there is important. Now, I've asked our commanders uh, and our chiefs uh, to make sure that uh, they build uh, their requirements for, uh, uh, for readiness and also combat capability into their base budget. And so we try to do that uh, at, at every turn, but that's, at some point in time, there are choices that you have to make. So. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Brown.